a wild and harsh land, where high mountains and ancient trees fill the snow-covered expanses, and the ruins of former cities reek of danger and death. The North, where the Rodan family has been waging a valiant battle against the ancient lords of the forest for centuries, the Bistars. No one knew for sure where these giant monsters came from. According to one of the many legends, they appeared from the night fog and began to destroy cities along with the inhabitants. The Rodan family, descendants of Benar the Brave, were masterful at destroying Bistars, and each of the hunters was willing to give his life for the common cause of ridding the north of the monsters. This story is about one such hunter, Django, son of Diron and the Rodan family. Raised by his grandfather, Django, like his ancestors, is a cold-blooded hunter of ferocious creatures who destroy everything in their path. After hearing rumors one day of huge tracks on a rock near the town of Mulrock, Django went there to fulfill his family's duty. Along the way, he stopped to rest in a small hut, from where his journey begins. This heart still retains its warmth and comfort, even though it's hundreds of years old. This heart still retains its warmth and comfort, even though it's hundreds of years old.
It's, it's strange. Everything is neatly in its place. Usually people left their home in a panic and left a mess behind. Hey! What the hell? Y you're not afraid of me? No, but you do look really creepy. Why are you asking? Well, thanks. You're just the first who dared to approach me. And what are you doing in these lands? I need to climb the plateau. I've heard there is a by star there, and I want to end it. Oh, yes. By stars. Do you know anything about them? My name is Harlan Tide. And I was a fisherman, just like my ancestors. One day, a beast, a huge creature, a bystar, as you called it, swooped down on our town. Before I knew it, it destroyed my shop and me with it, with a single blow from its giant paw. So you fell victim to one of these creatures. How long ago was that? I've been living without my body for over a century, and I've lost count of the years. That's terrible. But I've never seen a ghost before. How did you become like that? Honestly, I don't remember it at all. The last memory from my life is the moment of death. It must be some kind of curse or something. I don't know. Is there any way to break this curse? I think so. Our family has a family mark. The owner of a silver molded mark cannot be afraid of any curses and evil eye. But I lost my mark. I stamped all my goods. Perhaps the sign will help me find peace. I ask you to mold the mark from silver. You can get it from the mines around here. I promise I won't be in debt. But why haven't you done it yourself in all these years? I would if I could. I'm chained to this house. And no matter how hard I try, I can't leave it. Some kind of barrier or something keeps me from getting out. So what about my request? It's a deal. Here's a key to the forge, where you can melt a family mark. And here's a casting mold of the mark as well.
It's done. That's it? <laughs> That's really it? Oh, how glad I am to see that mark. Oh, thank you. Here, you fulfilled your promise. This hook will help you climb the rock. So what now? The power of the mark will manifest itself only if you take it in your hands and say the right words. Tarum Akil Atrimus. It's definitely a bi-star lair, but I can't see it from here. Extinguished fire and runes on the walls. Has someone been here before me? Maybe he killed a bystar. of some kind of hair or wool. It sounds crazy, but judging... The missing Bystar. The hut near his lair. The medical-like instruments. The note on the table. The crumpled sheet in the shelf. It's unbelievable. But judging by what's written in the note and that sheet in the desk shelf... The man who lived here was researching by stars. Could it be that a potion created by this man could... No. That is impossible. I must personally deal with what is going on. First of all, I must find the owner of the note. Find Craig Smythe. 